What's up, everybody? So today, I uh, hope everybody's having a great weekend, Memorial Day weekend, and you know, catching up with family and stuff. That's awesome. Um, so today, I got a story. Um, it's about basically giving it everything you got all the time. Like, if you have a chance, you should give it everything you got. And the way to develop this habit, I think, is to start small, start in the little things in life. Like, you know, you're wiping the counter off. Wiping the counter off, wiping the counter off, and you gotta, you know, there's a salt shaker right there and a pepper shaker, and you're wiping the counter, and instead of lifting up the salt shaker and the pepper shaker, you just kinda go around it, you know? So, you know, lifting up the salt and the, and the pepper, wiping the entire thing clean, that's the point, you know, giving it everything you got. Always developing the habit of giving more than what you've been paid for to do. Um, and I think that the reason this this is a, a good quality among successful people is because um, it comes back at you. It comes back at you. You know, um, what you put out will come back. So developing this habit of always giving it 120%. I see people all the time in the gym and it's like, like why are you here, you know, if you're not going to like work out? What are you doing at the gym if you're not going to work out? <laughs> You know, if you're not sweating, you're not doing nothing really. So, uh, but anyway, this story goes, so there's this um, man and son, and they have this uh, hobby together, right? And they, they like to collect rare paintings. So they got all these rare paintings from like Van Gogh and like Picasso and all the big guys, you know. And they collect, they've been collecting their whole lives. And then um, the son goes off to war. He goes off to the Vietnam War. And he, uh, he ends up dying in the war. And uh, the dad is really, really upset. You know, he's like, he loves his son. Everybody loves their children and stuff, you know. So you can, you can imagine how this, this guy feels. Um, and then a couple months later, after he got the news that his son had died, uh, this, this guy, this young guy, shows up at his house and pounded on the door and was like, bow, 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 bow. And the old man went and answered the door, and the guy was like, hey, um, I'm the guy that your son died trying to save my life. He's like, your son was a great guy. He tried to save many people's lives that day. And while he was saving mine, he got shot in the heart, and he died instantly. And um, he was like, and basically I just wanted to give this to you, and he handed him this picture, and it was a picture, and it was a, a portrait of the son's face that the guy drew himself and um, you know the old man was looking at it and he started tearing up and it was you know it was a real moment he was like real real distraught and he saw that the boy had captured his personality in the picture and he could see it in his eyes and he was just bawling his eyes out you know at this point he's just crying his eyes out and he puts the picture up on the mantle up on the mantle right above the fireplace that's his favorite picture now, you know, all the Van Gogh and all that stuff. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. And so he dies actually a couple weeks later and he has an auction for the for the for the house, you know. And um, the auction guy's there and he's like, Okay, let's start the auctioning and all these people, like rich, real, real rich. Um, investors like they collect rare paintings and stuff and and they're real rich they come and they are you know ready to buy they're ready to buy these Van Gogh paintings these Picasso paintings these all these just luxurious paintings they're ready to spend some money you know they brought them checkbooks and they got deep pockets so they're ready to go and the auction guy he's like okay let's start with the the painting above the mantle the boys picture and all the guys are like, no. He was like, we don't want that one. Skip, skip that one. Let's go to the Van Goghs and the, everything else. And the auction guy was like, we have to sell this one first. So let's we'll start the bidding. One hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. And all the investors are like, no, <laughs> no. I don't want to pay nothing for it. We don't want it. And um, there was a man in the back of the room. And this went on for a couple minutes. And finally, the man in the back of, back of the room. He decided he was the gardener, right? So he knew the, the boy and he knew the father and he had a friendship with both of them. And he, th he didn't like how these people 
were acting about the painting. They were like, yeah, I'll give him a penny. Ha, <laughs> the painting's worthless. And um, so the gardener had 10 bucks to his name. That's all he had. He had $10 in his back pocket and he was like, I can't let this, I can't let this happen. So he was like, 10 bucks, $10, I'll buy the painting. And he's like, okay, okay, $10, $20, start the bidding, $20. Everybody's like, no, no, go to the Van Goghs. And finally he's like, okay, sold, $10 to that man back there. And um, he was like, okay, everybody go home now, the auction's over. And everybody's like, what? What do you mean the auction's over? And he's like, well, I couldn't say this before, but the will stipulated from the old man that whoever bought the son's painting would get all the paintings and get the entire estate. So the man, the gardener, got the entire estate. He got every single painting all because he gave everything he had. That's the key right there. That's the key to it all. He gave his last $10 for a good cause because he knew the old man and stuff and he felt bad. He didn't want that painting to just go to waste, you know. It's like it meant something to that man and he worked for him and they had a relationship. So he was willing to give everything he had, everything he had to give it away to help someone else even though that, that man was dead, you know. and. I just think that's a that's a beautiful story and the the guy got all the paintings you know so the moral here the moral is um, practice giving it all you got all the time you know wh whoever you are and whatever you're doing be sure you're doing it with everything you have otherwise what's the point you know if your name's attached to it it's how you how you look at something if your name's attached to it how you want to be represented you know so I just think that's a really good story, there's a good moral in it, and I know it's not very long, I just wanted to get this out there, and uh, it was it's a family story, I know this is Memorial Weekend, it's a little bit sad, but uh, there's a good moral, give everything you have, the man had $10 to his last, he had $10 to his name, and he was willing to give it away, and in return, he got everything, he got all the paintings. So. Hope you guys have a great weekend. I will be talking to you soon. I got more fitness videos coming out. I got awesome, awesome new things coming up. I'm excited. I'm doing lots more things. Um, hit me up. Don't be afraid to comment about videos you'd like to see uh, fitness-wise, science-wise, intellectual-wise, any kind of discussion you want me to go over, anything at all. Don't be shy. Hit me up. I love talking to people. Um, so... Alright my friends, stay positive and persevere.